Have you ever wanted to add custom fields to your WooCommerce products? You know, advanced custom fields, ACF. It's super, super easy and it's great when you're doing it for posts, but what about for your products? Maybe you wanna show a few more details on the single product field, but you're a little bit restricted by what you get currently in WooCommerce products. Well, let's go and try it out with advanced custom fields. Obviously, we're using the advanced custom fields plugin. It's free, go and install it. Now, once you've done that, you can scroll down and you will see custom fields. I'm gonna go over here and click add new. We're gonna create a field group and we're just gonna call it uh, ACF products. I mean, you might wanna use a much more scientific name to be honest. I'm gonna create a text field. By the way, I'm only gonna do two fields here and I'm not overly focused about styling. I just wanna show you how simple and easy it is to do. We're gonna have a text field and I'm then gonna put a field over here and call it brand like that. And we'll have, we won't have a default. In fact, no, I'll tell you what, let's change it. We are going to pretend that we have got a, uh, like, uh, we sell t-shirts and hoodies and we've got brands, okay? And I am now going to pick from an option or a list. So I'm going to go with Nike, uh, Reebok, and we'll go with Adidas as well. Something like that. I'm keeping it really, really simple. And what we'll do is we'll add in another field as well. And again, I'm going to go for like a radio button. By the way, you don't have to do that. You could have a free text area or a number or anything like that. I'm going to put male, female, and I'm going to put unisex as well. That's basically it so far. I mean, I could add on loads more fields. The key thing, though, is down here where it says the rule. And you want to say that the post type for this is equal to product. If you don't do that, it's going to apply it for all your posts. But we want this to apply for product. I then hit save changes. That's how simple and easy it was. If we now go over to any one of our products and I'm going to pick, say, the hoodie with the zipper, if I now click edit on that, you got all your normal standard details that we're very much used to. But look down here. We now have the option for me to go and say, actually, this is Adidas and this is a unisex. So it's not just male or female. I'm going to go and update. Now, again, you're probably going, well, so what? All you've done is tick a few boxes. I'm now going to show that on our single product. Now, I'm using Elementor at the moment, but this would work for basically any page builder or basically WordPress in itself. Now, here we have loads of fields already pre-populated for us. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go and pick, say, the heading field. In fact, we won't go for, yeah, no, let me show you the heading field and I'll show you another way. I'm going to go for the heading field. I'm going to click the dynamic uh, stack or the tags, scroll down to ACF field, and I'm going to click the spanner wrench. And now I'm going to pick one of my fields. So I might go for brand. And what you will then see here is the brand will appear. Now, at the moment, it's not appearing because this is the T-shirt with the logo. So let me just hit publish for a moment, save and close. Let's just go down to settings, preview settings, and let's go and pick, uh, I'm pretty sure it was the one with the zipper. Yeah, hoodie with zipper. Let's hit apply and preview. And now you will see the word Adidas because that was the brand we went and picked. And of course, because it's a heading, you can stylize it and do lots with it. You can also hit the spanner or the wrench, go to advanced and actually put the word brand. Uh, like that in front, and you'll see it appear in a minute. We'll put a space there. There we go. And we could do this same for the type as well. So, you know, male, female, unisex, and all of that. But what if you wanted to have them all in one line in a really funky way? So let me just get rid of that for a moment. Let me go and pick the icon list and drop that over. And let me just get rid of all these fields. Let me get rid of the icon. Let me click the dynamic tag and we're going to do the same thing again. ACF field, spanner wrench. I'm going to go with brand. Let's hit the advanced tab. Let's type in brand like that. Uh, and, and that's basically it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just duplicate that because it's easier to do really. Go over, hit the spanner wrench. I'm going to pick the type, go to advanced. And I'm now just going to change this to be type like that typer. There we go. And then you're going to have brand Adidas type unisex and they're one below another. I can make them be inline and I can obviously as well. Let me just shrink these fields down. If I go to style, I can say give me a divider and we'll go with, I don't know, color like that, something like that. So I can start to add in some additional bits of information that you might have been typing in your description. Maybe it's maybe like um, you're selling food and you want to put down how many proteins there are, how many carbs are there, how many how much fat is in there, how many calories, how many how many people does it serve? 
These are all extra fields you would normally put in your post, but you can also do for your products as well. This is super, super simple and easy to do. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.